Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Zcrit back at it again with another video. And in this video we're going to be showing you guys how to open up a door with a simple button. This could work for both multiplayer and single player. And let's get straight into it. So right here we have our door button. And that's going to be our door we're going to want to open up. So once we hover over it, it's going to want to open the door. And yes, it works for multiplayer as well. We'll try it out in multiplayer. So two players, right? You hug over here and it'll open up. Easy and simple. Simple to do here. So we're gonna wanna go uh we're just gonna need two actors and that's it. So you're gonna wanna create an actor, this one's gonna be called BP underscore door one. We'll call it door one. And another actor called BP underscore button one. So now that we have our door, we want to go to door. We're going to add our door mesh, will be on door mesh. Make sure you go on the BP underscore door one or whatever he has named it. Go to replication. Make sure this is set to true. And it should work for both multiplayer and single player as well. If you want to do just single player, you don't, you don't really need this, but it does help out if you ever do want to make it multiplayer. So right here, we're going to want to go to custom or event graph. We're going to want to add a custom event. We're going to be calling this open door with button. You can name it whatever you guys want. Make sure this is multicast. Once it's multicast, you're going to want to drag off and add a timeline. Once we add a timeline, We're going to want to name this timeline, let's say door TL. You don't have to name it, but I, I'll name it. So you're going to want to go here into the timeline. You're going to want to make sure this is linked to one or whatever you guys want to, but I'm going to do one. We're going to add a track that is going to be a float. We're going to call the float door float. We're going to want to add a key. This one's going to be set to zero, zero. And another key, which is going to be one one. One and one. So it should look something like this. Compile that. We'll have a float key. We're going to want to get a uh, alert vector. We're going to set the z axis to 290. That's how high I want mine to be. And we're going to want to set our relative location. Relative. Oh, and it's going to get the door mesh. We want the door mesh up here too. That's the actor we're going to want to set the relative location to. You're going to want to go to update. And we're done with this. Door is all done. So now we're going to want to go to the button that we created button one we're gonna want to add an actor here called um, let's say door select because we're gonna want to be able to select the door from whichever uh, whichever door we want in the scene so it will be super simple to use so Instead of boolean, we're going to want to change that to bp underscore door1, which we created up here. It's going to be an object type. Make sure this is on so you can select it from the scene. Make sure this is so you don't want to click on bp underscore button1. Make sure it's replicated to for multiplayer. Replicates on. Compile that. All right, we're going to want to add a box. Just that's just gonna be my, uh, or we're not at a cube actually. This is just gonna be so like people know where the button's at. We're gonna want to make this to a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and a 0.5. I don't want it to be huge, but I want people to actually see it too. We're gonna add a collision box. Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a collision box. It could be like a, um, something you guys created, like a interactable or something like that for your game but I'm gonna do this just so it can be simple I'm gonna scale it up 
times 2 on all XYZ. Alright, now that we're done with this, we're going to want to go to Event Graph. We're going to want to get the Cube Collision Box. And on Add Event, we're going to want to begin Overlap. Once we overlap this actor, we don't want to get the open door with button. Make sure the contact sensitivity is unchecked so you can actually see it. And once you have it here, you don't want to get the door selector. Get, and you should be able to easily connect it, and you should be done. Everything should work properly and easily to use. So we're going to want to get our door button and our door mesh make sure it's properly aligned with the door frame so for this button see how we made this uh, public now so all we gotta do is just pick an actor from the scene it should let you collect on or click on this button or the door mesh and it should work very simple you could do this as much as you want it could work easily it works for multiplayer too we'll try it in for multiplayer works for both so both um, characters could go through it hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out